welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Rob, and today we will take a look at contour sketches. Contour sketches are something that allows us to increase the functionality and efficiency of the sketches that we make in SolidWorks. With contour sketches, we have the ability to use just one sketch in a multitude of different ways. This can be important when rapid modeling is required for a project at work, or even for something like the CSWP where speed and efficiency are very important. Let's first look at what the associated tree icons look like when we create a simple sketch and then extrude that whole sketch geometry. You will notice that the standard sketch icon is displayed in the tree under the extrude feature. This indicates that the entire sketch was used to create this feature and it is likely the most common sketch symbol you will see when creating features in SolidWorks. Now that we have this method of sketching and extruding in mind, and the resultant icons that SolidWorks presents us, let's take a look at contour sketching to see what it can do for us. For this example, I will just create a simple sketch of two concentric circles of different diameter that are intersected by a line through their origin. Now that we have this sketched, let's head on over to create an extrude feature. Once inside our Boss Extrude Property Manager, we can see that due to the type of sketch geometry we have created, we are able to mouse over the sketch and see certain areas highlight as I pass the cursor over them. If I click on one of these areas, I will be selecting that contour. We can also see this here in the Property Manager when contours are selected. This allows us to select part of the sketch that we would want to use for an extrude or cut feature now and leave the other areas of the sketch unused. You might ask yourself, why would I use this? And the first great reason that comes to mind when I am thinking about using sketch contours is when I want to extrude portions of a sketch to different lengths or cut depths. This means that I can extrude just the upper portion of this circle sketch to let's say 10 millimeters like so. Then if I open the boss extrude feature in the tree that I have just created, we will see that this sketch symbol is present and it's different than my previous example. The icon indicates that the extrude used a contour of a sketch to create the extrude boss feature and not the whole sketch. Now we can actually go back and reuse that same sketch that we just used. Let's go to Features and then Extruded Boss Base. Now we will open the Flyout menu, expand the Boss Extrude 1 feature that we already used the sketch in, and reselect that sketch. At this point, we are able to see all the sketch geometry that we created a few minutes ago, and now we can select another contour from that sketch. I'm going to select the lower portion of the sketch and extrude it to 40 millimeters. Now, if we look in our tree and expand the extrude features, we can see that the icon is different yet again. This icon is now telling us that not only have we used a contour sketch to create our extrudes, but that the sketch that we used is shared between multiple features. This sharing is indicated specifically by the hand in that icon. Now, let's use this sketch one more time just to prove that we can make some fairly complex geometry from just one really simple sketch. We follow the same process that we just used to make Boss Extrude 2, and we will end up with a final model that looks like this. Using contour sketches may not seem like too big of a deal, but you have to remember that when there is a major time crunch, every second counts, and if you are accustomed to designing using sketch contours, they have the potential to really increase efficiency. I hope that you will find great value in using contour sketches like I do, and thank you again for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.